In this video, we will learn how to render documents in React application. Documents like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, PNG, or JPG in and many more format. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code. I have created a new React application with the help of create React app script. And here uh, I explain uh, one package which help us to render documents file in React application. So uh, React doc viewer is a great uh, uh, package which help us to uh, render the same thing and it has good uh, weak download. It support different type of uh, file format which is mentioned here and uh, we can take some uh, demo here so there is there is a very small steps we need to install it in our react application i have already installed and uh, you can see uh, in package.json it is mentioned so here we can start in the next next step next step is very simple we have to call a doc viewer component which is inside the package so and this component expect document props and plugin renderers props so let me copy this and paste it here I have already import these component in my component okay so this is expecting docs so let me copy this and paste it here and uh, I am going to use some remote URL on which my DOCX doc file is available. So the precondition is for this URL is that this URL should be publicly accessible. So I have some of the URL for different different file. Let me copy a DOCX word file and paste it here. We can check this by pasting in browser. It's getting download. Yeah. So you can see that this is the word file which we need to render in that. Okay. Now let me close it. And uh, I have already pasted here. Let me remove other one. With the uh, in uh, with the help of this uh, docs we also need to provide or uh, tell package file what type of file is so we need to uh, pass another props in which we can tell that this is docx file we also can pass file name so in our case if we have uh, we are getting file name from database or api we can pass those those, uh, those values but here for demo purpose i am typing this as demo dot docx file and we are passing this to this here i need to make uh, one more uh, thing here i need to set the height of this doc viewer so I am using styles and here I can pass height let make it 1000 and now we are ready to use that npm run the application npm start and uh, me open yes so you can see a uh, doc file is here okay now let's move to uh, let us see uh, how excel file will be added so 
here you can pass multiple uh, document uh, to the doc viewer so by copying this and pass a new object and here for second document i am passing as uh, excel document so let's open that make the change as this one url this url is also publicly access here i need to make file type as excel and demo is demo sample let's make it demo sample dot xls let's see what happened here you can see that uh, there are two documents so you can navigate between these documents so on second position you are seeing excel file and on first position this is word file now let's try for third one that is ept so let me copy that url ppt url and file type will be ppt and uh, let's make it some other file name future.ppt and see it so you can see this time there are three document you can see file name which we are passing from prop is rendering here and this is ppt which is rendering future.ppt now uh, from remote url we are done uh, let's try for new document from the local so let's suppose if you have some word file or some P some different like pdf if you have and you want to display on your react application then how we can display that so the ways you can copy this and here you need to pass the url in some different way like required and in required you can pass the path dot slash and then vs code will suggest you to pick the folder and then file name you have to copy that from here and paste it here here we will change the file type and let's make it the same name all right so here you can see right now four document let's navigate to them third one is ppt and and last one is pdf you can see name here and it is getting loaded yeah load it now let's try some jpg file so let me download some jpg news and go to image and then let's suppose i download this image save as image and uh, my application is inside uh, src and then file download dot jpg all right so in visual studio code our file is here okay now let's add another object and here you need to pass image url that is download dot jpg jpg is the file type you have to change and download jpg is the file name let's run it here you can see five document let's move to the last all done so image is rendering 
a jpg file is also rendering so this way we can render different type of uh, files in react application uh, we uh, have some more detail in this also like uh, like you can uh, you can make it by default uh, one document as a active document and uh, other settings you can uh, by default uh, integrate with the input type files so as soon as you select any file that immediately you want to display that in doc viewer you can do that uh, this is the default doc viewer renderer which uh, this uh, package is used we have different type of renderer uh, is if you want to a specific uh, mm, file uh, to render then you can pass uh, any specific uh, renderer you can create your own custom renderer like this and uh, these are some themes you can styling uh, your uh, doc viewer with the help of this so let's copy that and uh, paste it inside the inside the um, doc viewer and save it and let's see now uh, a style uh, doc viewer is rendering now let's move to the next custom prefetch http web so a prefetch method you can set as a get other than that uh, you can also with the help of for you are uh, including url you can also attach some tokens with the help of the by setting these uh, headers so in my next video i will show you how you can access uh, a api a secure api with the uh, and uh, api is going to return a document and you need to render that in react application so i will cover up that in next video so that's all for uh, this tutorial and if this video is helpful for you please uh, comment uh, and uh, subscribe my channel thank you